Welcome to Golden Bloated, everybody. And if you are a college football fan, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. That is all we do here every single day. And send gear to represent your team and yourself to Golden Bloated. I guarantee you, if you send it to me, I will put it in my background. Send your gear to P.O. Box 360, Liberty, South Carolina, 29657. All right, so, so I'm seeing all over YouTube and a bunch of sports sites that the ACC and the Big 12 might be interested in a merger. Now, this does not mean it's going to happen, okay? Oh, Golden Blue Dude is predicting a merger now. Another crazy conference realignment prediction. No, no, I am not predicting this. I have no idea if this would happen or not. I don't even know if it's possible. I'm just passing along what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing from other YouTube channels, from sports channels on TVs. They're talking about the ACC and the Big 12 might possibly be interested in a merger. I think that makes a ton of sense. Now, for the past year, well, it's probably actually been over a year, I've been talking about West Virginia to the ACC. I had strong inside sources that was telling me it was going to happen. But then other things happened. Now it looks like it, it looks like that's not going to happen. looks like Notre Dame is going to stay independent. West Virginia is going to stay in the Big 12. That, that It just doesn't look likely. But th this is something different. This is something completely different. And this falls on the hands of the Pac-12 making some terrible, terrible decisions. Now, we heard a while back during the summer that the ACC and the Pac-12 were actually interested in a merger. Now, from what I'm hearing, if that were to happen, teams would have probably left the Pac-12 trying to get to either the Big 12 or the Big 10. So, they're saying, I don't know if it's the real reason, but they're saying one of the big reasons why that didn't happen is because the Pac-12 didn't want to lose more members, even though they would be gaining the ACC. That doesn't really make that much sense, but that's what I'm hearing. George Klyovkov is a problem in the Pac-12. He keeps saying one thing, but nothing ever shows what he's saying. Oh, we're looking at a merger. Nothing came out of that. Oh, we're looking at getting these teams. We're trying to add big brands, this and that. Nothing has happened. The Pac-12 is not looking good at all. Now he's come out and said, we're really, really close to a media rights deal, and I'm very confident that whatever we put in front of their face, they're going to sign. Uh, first of all, if you really think that, you're stupid. Okay, it's not whatever you put in front of their face, they're going to sign. No, teams aren't that stupid. They want to make some money. If you don't give them the amount that they want, then they're going to look for other options. It's as simple as that. So, George Klyovkov, man, you need to get your head out of your rear end, and the Pac-12 is going to die if you don't do that. George Klyovkov might be the main reason why the Pac-12 could, could, could go down the drain. And here's another prime example of George Klyovkov's stupidity. One of the biggest games of this weekend for the Pac-12 is number 7 USC at Oregon State. But that's only in the Pac-12 network. That's basically the same thing as not being on TV. That That is money being left on the table. How do you not get that game on like an ESPN or a Fox or whoever besides the Pac-12 network? That's stupid. And it was also rumored that the Big 12 and the Pac-12 might have been interested in a merger. Nothing came out of that. Even George Klyovkov mentioned that in passing. But, of course, nothing he says really means anything. But the Big 12 merging with the ACC. I love it. Because here's the thing. I, I, I have been slammed for saying, why do you want West Virginia in the ACC? Be thankful that they're in the Big 12. I am thankful in the Big 12. The reason that I have pushed and was the flag bearer of West Virginia going to the ACC was the rivalry aspect, the traveling aspect. West Virginia doesn't have any real rivalries in the Big 12. We just don't, and the traveling is ridiculous. And I understand we're in the day and age where plane flights don't take that long, so traveling doesn't take that long, but it's still wear and tear over the entire season. And this year, West Virginia had six road trips. Now, two of those were ACC against Pitt and Virginia Tech, but the rest are in the Big 12. So that's going to be four road trips in the Big 12. So yes, for rivalry's sake and for traveling's sake, West Virginia would fit better in the ACC. That doesn't mean that I don't like the Big 12. That doesn't mean that I'm not grateful for the Big 12. I do like the Big 12. It's good football. And I am grateful for the Big 12. They picked us up in a very dire situation when the future for West Virginia was very much in doubt. The ACC wasn't really interested. The SEC chose Missouri over West Virginia. West Virginia was on the plate, but ESPN said, no, we want Missouri over West Virginia, so they went with Missouri. So the Big 12 swooped in and saved West Virginia. We are grateful for that. But you can see, you can even see with the rivalry games that we played this year, Pitt and Virginia Tech, both games sellouts. Pitt does not sell out very often, not at all. They didn't sell out the Tennessee game, not by a long shot. 
But that West Virginia game was a sellout. It was overflowing. It was the largest crowd ever for any type of event in the city of Pittsburgh. That game broke records. West Virginia would make money for the ACC, and the ACC would make money for West Virginia. So the merger thing would actually be the best of both worlds. You're still getting Big 12 competition, but you also get to play your rivals. Pitt, Virginia Tech, Syracuse, Boston College, Miami, Louisville, and there's some other teams in the ACC that would make some intriguing matchups. Virginia, that could turn into a rivalry. All the North Carolina schools, NC State, North Carolina, Duke, Wake Forest, all those could turn into interesting series. Clemson, of course. Clemson actually owes West Virginia because of that orange ball thumping they took back in 2012. Georgia Tech could be interesting, and even Florida State. There's a lot of interesting matchups, potential matchups in the ACC. And then you add the other teams, your Iowa State's, Cincinnati's, the Newbies, UCF, BYU, Oklahoma State, Kansas, Kansas State, Texas Tech, TCU, Baylor. Adding that all together, it's close to being a coast-to-coast conference. There's some great football brands in there, and West Virginia gets their rivals back. This this actually might be best-case scenario for West Virginia. This could be better than West Virginia going to the ACC because you're still keeping the Big 12 competition, and the Big 12 is a great basketball conference as well, and you get to play your rivals. Now, I don't know about the grant of right situation. I don't know how that would get worked out. I don't know if the Big 12 teams would just have to sign that grant of rights, and then a TV deal gets worked out, because that's the one thing that's keeping the ACC from getting picked apart is the grant of rights. It has teams locked in. Now, they can always add teams, but those teams have to sign that grant of rights. And if the Big 12 and the ACC merge, there's not going to be any exit fees for those Big 12 teams or the ACC teams because they're merging. They're not necessarily leaving that conference. I don't know what that conference would be named, but it would be one heck of a conference. No exit fees, not sure about the grant of rights, but honestly, this this is best case scenario for probably every party involved. I know Florida State, North Carolina, Clemson, Virginia, and probably Virginia Tech, Miami, maybe a few other schools aren't happy with ACC money. Maybe a merger with the Big 12 would help out with the money situation as well. This makes a lot of sense. And if you think about it, it could possibly, possibly help attract Notre Dame to come in because Notre Dame does not want to go to the Big 10 because of Michigan. I've already done a video about that. They don't want to go to the Pac-12 because they're in a bad situation. They don't really fit in the SEC. The ACC is a good fit for Notre Dame, but they don't make enough money. So if the ACC and the Big 12 merge, that could actually entice Notre Dame to join that mega conference. And with this new playoff expansion and a conference champion gets a bye week and extra perks, Notre Dame has more pressure to join a conference to get those advantages. That would probably be the best choice for Notre Dame to join a conference that's a result of the Big 12 and the ACC merging. Having said that, I don't know if this is going to actually happen. I don't even know the chances of this actually happen. But I will say this. This is the best merger potential on the board for the Big 12 or the ACC. I think it would be better than a Big 12 Pac-12 merger. And I think it would be better than an ACC Pac-12 merger. And it could actually persuade some of these teams in the Pac-12 to join this conference as well. Big 12, ACC merger, best merger for those two conferences. Y'all let me know in the comments section. Number one, do you think this will actually happen? Number two, do you actually disagree with me? and think that another merger would be better for either the Big 12 or the ACC. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next show.